Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. Myself Puhu Sarkar and in this video I will continue the series of practicing the PIQ. So here I am going to discuss the um, PIQ question paper of 2007 December and with little explanation I took this PDF from one group and it is a very useful PDF and uh, because you can see that there are um, with the with the answer there are uh, little explanation given so which will add um, information to your answer right so let's start with our first question which is question number 26 in which of the following novel by graham green does the little girl brigitta appear so brigitta appear in the power and the glory in 1940s is a novel by british author graham green it is it was initially published in the united States with the title the labyrinth ways so um, graham green is an important writer and most of the time net asks this uh, about graham green so the little girl brigitta appear in his uh, novel the power and the glory which was very much important uh, novel and it was published in 1940s and the subtitle of this um, oh it was um, it was published in the U U uh, us with the title the labyrinth way so you can also remember this point and other works are also by graham green like the heart of the matter then the power and the glory bring tom rock and the quiet american okay so let's see the next question question number 27 the author of a satire against reason and mankind is so a satire against reason and mankind is uh, published in 1674 is a satirical poem by english restoration poet john wilmot who is the second earl of rochester so he is the second earl of rochester and his name is um, john wilmot a satire against reason and mankind then what is anagrosis um, anagnorisis Anachronism. This term was given by Aristotle. So it means that anachronism is a movement in the play or the um, other work when a character makes a critical discovery. So anachronism means uh, critical discovery. Anachronism. Um, was the hero's sudden awareness of real situation, their realization of the things as they stood and finally he was straight inside our can so anagnorisis mean uh, sudden discovery okay then the next question question number 29 in which play by shakespeare do we find widow queen questioning the assumption of male politics and it will be richard the third it is written approx 1592 depicts the machiavellian rise to power and subsequent short reign of king richard third of england so uh, here you can see that widowed queens questioning the assumption of male politics in richard the third then which of the following feminist critic used the expression gynocriticism for the first time so gynocriticism is the term coined in the 70s uh, by ellen sowater to contrast a female framework for the analysis of women's literature so gynocriticism is a term um, coined by in the 70s by ellen sowater to contrast that a female framework for the analysis of women's literature it is called gynocriticism it is given by ellen soul water so water okay then john Keats' poem ode to the nightingale was composed in so it was composed in 1819 uh, it is written in uh, 1819 and is a personal poem that describes kids journey into the state of negative capability so where i talked about the literary terms i told you about the negative capability so negative capability when you isolated your feelings from the, your work right so here you can see that it is a journey to uh, is the state of negative capability when you forget yourself 
the female quiz note was written by so it was written by charlotte lennox so the female quiz note uh, or the adventures of arabella was a novel written by charlotte lennox imitating and portraying the ideas of miguel de cervantes don quizzo it was published in 1752 so it was published in 1752 then which contemporary british poet has translated beul so uh, the answer will be um, sima seni so sima seni was a nobel laureate and he was born in 1939 and died in 2013 was a irish poet and receptionist of the no- 1995 nobel prize in literature who is credited to have translated the epic uh, poem beul and he also wrote the book poems right so there are Uh, sometimes they ask about sima seni box uh, box poet uh, poems then punishment also part of it the praise of chimney is the uh, the praise of chimney is an essay by charles lamb sorry sorry oh yes the uh, praise of chimney sweeper is a poem uh, is a is an essay by charles lamb and the chimney sweepers by william blake right so i confused it <laughs> i get confused confused so the um, chimney sweepers is the title of two poems by william blake published in songs of innocence in the 1789 uh, and song of experience in uh, 1794 the poem chimney sweepers is set against the dark background of child labor that was prominent in england so the chimney sweepers song of experience and song of um, innocence by william blake which was published in 1789 and 1794 and the essay the praise of chimney sweeper is by charles lamb so you can, you also can uh, get confused then the loneliness of a long distance runner is a novel by uh, so it is a novel by alan silito um, the loneliness of a long distance runner is a short story by alan silito published in 15 um, uh, 1959 the work forces uh, focuses on smith a poor nottingham teenager from a dismal home in a working class area so from a dismal home um, to a in a working class area the loneliness of the long distance runner so see, he cannot uh, stop and he have to run to um, to to survive and this is the whole story this is the whole theme of the story it was written by alan silito uh, it uh, talked about a teenager uh, not a poor t- nottingham teenager from a dismal home in a working class area then question number 36 the black venus um, angela carter takes elements from the poetry of a poem french poet and palace uh, places uh, them in a very different paradigm who is the french poet so the answer will be bodlier blank uh, black venus is a is an anthology of short fiction by angela carter it was first published in uk so it was first published in uk in 1985 the blank venus of the title story is jane duval the lover of poet charles bodlier so here the french poet is um, charles bodlier the title of the story is jane duval and the lover of poet uh, who is the lover of poet charles bodlier okay then strophe antistrophe and epode are uh, from a three part structure in in a classical ode in a classic ode a strophe strophe means anti clockwise movement from right to left anti clockwise movement from right to left is a poetic term uh, originally referring to first uh, part of the ode in grecian uh, in ancient greek followed by antistrophe so strophe followed by antistrophe which is a clockwise movement from left to right which is a clockwise movement from left to right uh, strophe was right to left and uh, um, 
antistropulus left to right and epod mean the stand still the term has been extended to mean a structure division of a poem containing stanzas of varying line length okay so greek chorus also had the same form of structure and hence also be corrected the word where are the songs of spring is by ode to autumn so where are the songs of spring i where are they occur in ode to autumn ode to autumn was written by john keats composed in 1819 and published in 1820 the poem is the final work in a group of poems uh, known as keats 1819 odes so the line where are the songs of spring i where are they is from ode to autumn by john keats then music that gentle on the spirits lies than tried i like i leads upon tried eyes so music that gentle on the spirit lies that tried i leads upon tried lies the above lines uh, occur in tennyson so the um, you can understand from the theme because in the lotus eater you know that what happened the singers of the sea uh, there are some magical spirit who sang for uh, the stranger and if anybody um, one time uh, listen this music they can uh, they cannot return home uh, they will die right so the lotus eater is a poem by tennyson and it was published in 1832 poetry collection the poem describes a group of mariners who upon eating the lotus upon eating the lotus are put into the altered state and isolated from the outside world so um, they i isolated from the outside world lotus eaters okay then which of the following pairs is correctly match so the answer will be uh, d okay uh, lady of the lake is written by walter scott lady of the lake is written by walter scott lake is a of inis free is written by w b yes then the lady of salad by uh, tennyson and recollection of the lakes and the lake poets by uh, thomas de quincy so this time they ask uh, a quotation from thomas uh, de quincy right which famous english novel opens with a young woman who is handsome clever and rich so it is um, in ima ima by jane austen is a novel about youthful hubris and the perils of misconstructed uh, construed romance the novel was first published in 1815 so it begins with the um, quotation handsome clever and rich it appears that the paradise lost one book um, paradise lost book one milton belongs to the devil's party without knowing it so who um, who among the following made this statement so it is famously uh, spoken by william blake right so it was william blake who observed that milton belonged to the devil's party without knowing it so he said that milton belonged to the devil party but he um unconsciously uh, don't know about it so he unconsciously uh, belonging to a devil belonging to devil because william blake thought that he is more um with the uh, with the saturn right then the remark implies that milton unconsciously glorified saturn so milton unconsciously glorified saturn especially in book 1 of paradise lost then life like peaks is a so life like peak is a um, play by arden so it is a play by arden john arden was an english marxist playwright the play life like peak was written in 1956 and was published in 1961 it was uh, written by uh, arden john arden 
and he is a Marxist playwright. Then, a woman drew her long black hair out tight and fiddled whisper music on those strings from which Sex and Elliot's wasteland are the ever blind. So, you know that it is uh, from the game of chess where the lady is um, sitting in front of a uh, dressing room, right? Uh, dressing um, table. Then uh, the Abablines is from uh, what, uh, what the Thunder said. Sorry. Um, so the Ababline is from uh, what the Thunder uh, said. And the lady uh, sitting uh, in front of a dressing table and um, her lover came. So um, there you can see the uh, quotation. A woman drew her long hair out tight and fiddled whisper music on those strings then which of the correct sequence of um, HB's african trilogy so you know that first will be things fall apart which was published in 1958 then no longer at is 1960 and arrow of god 1964 so things fall apart no longer at is an arrow of god so chinua achibi was always asked and this time also they gave some question from chinua achibi which of the four figure uh, figures of speech used in the following lines by blake so the answer will be metonymy and epistrophe. Metonymy is um, a figure of speech in which a thing or concept is called uh, not by its name but rather the name of something associated within uh, associated in meaning. An apostrophe is a uh, diacritical mark in language and making the omission of one or more letters. So you know that uh, what is metonymy and what is apostrophe. Then question number 47. In which of the following American novels does the valley of essays occur? So in Great Gatsby, Gatsby um, is a 1925 novel written by American author F. Scott Fitzgerald and here the valley of essays occur. Okay. <coughs> To whom is Chaucer referring? When he was, he says, he knew the tavern well, well in every town. So the uh, for whom he said it, uh, said it, uh, he knew the tavern well in every town, and it was uh, spoken for the friar. The friar, Chaucer reverses the friar by saying he knew the tavern well in every town in Canterbury Tales. Then question number 49, poetry is a criticism of life under the condition fixed for such a criticism of laws of poetic truth and poetic beauty. Who among the following made the above statement and the answer will be the study of poetry by uh, Matthew Arnold. So Matthew Arnold um, said this above statement that poetry is a criticism of life under the condition fixed for such a criticism by laws of poetic truth and poetic beauty then she is inspired but diabolically inspired she is inspired but diabolically inspired who is this lady the lady is Saint Joan it is a poem by G.B. Saw based on the life of trial of john ark it was published in 1924 so here we can see the quotation she is inspired but diabolically inspired so that's all for today i hope you will like it and uh, please if you like uh, please hit the like button and you can comment on the comment section thank you for giving your time